All right, it's time. It's time for another unboxing of a box fan in a box. Believe it or don't. I mean, this one I ordered last week and it came yesterday. And I'm getting to it today while I have some free time because the next three weeks it's like mandatory overtime, which means whatever free time you have, cancel them. It's like, fuck that shit. I'll probably have another drunk rant about that later. But yeah, if you notice, I mean, can it be any more fragile? I mean, look at it. I mean, they probably went a little bit happy with the fragile tape, but at least it is noted as fragile. Probably Italian, but I can guarantee you it's not. So I've rambled on enough. So I guess if everyone's ready, let's go. And there it is. And of course there was a little thing on the card that said thank you for your purchase. Have any questions, please contact me and all that stuff. So enjoy Jeff. So I probably will. Set that aside. But yeah, this is a Toastmaster. Missing some slats. It's a little bit beat up here. The handle is going to need to be replaced. So technically there's no handle! No handle! No handle! But, yeah. The reason why I find this interesting, I wish I brought out the other one, that it's reminiscent to the old thinner lights. I mean, yes, it's wider, but it still needs the feet to uh, prop it up so it won't fall over shag carpet. And I think this was like the first year that they did away with Edison and just bashed him as Toastmaster because that uh, Edison Comfort fan with the ver with the infinite speed that was made by Toastmaster of Boonville, Missouri and the back grill is riveted. I kinda hate that but I kinda get it. What does the calcion say? Thermally protected automatically restarting motor to reduce injury risk unplugged before servicing. Sometimes easier said than done. So yeah. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the feet on and we'll get the model number and we'll give it a go. All right, I got the feet on and uh, this is probably something you haven't seen in a long time. The both feet are actually intact because some of these, they've been known to disappear or break or walk away or be gone with the wind. So yeah, I don't know if you can read that, it's a model 4425, 115 volts, 2.6 amps, 60 hertz, Toastmaster Incorporated, Boonville, Missouri, UL approved. And on the subject of Toastmaster, still has the uh, McGraw Edison motor, badged as a Toastmaster. So yeah, I think this was probably about maybe a year or two before they finally did away with that and went with Macmillan. Which would probably be about the time that they did away with the separate grill and well with a one piece grill and did the separate grill with the motor mounts. Yeah. I'm kinda rambling on, but 
And yeah, the uh, grill right here, probably missing a few more slats, but that's really minor because if I have to, I can use that other Toastmaster fan that has the um, cheapy motor. Actually, no, I can't. You know what? I'll figure something. If I have to, I'll get popsicle sticks and all that shit. So, yeah. So, like I said, we'll plug this up and give it a go. So, I guess without further ado... Here's high! Yeah, it's gonna need some washers or something because metal upon metal is not, the mo it's, it's annoying as hell. Probably going to need oil. Probably going to need oil. As you can see, I got the kilowatt meter out, so we'll just put the amp, turn on high. running under spec because it's running for it's at, it's rated for 2.6 and I got 2.0 2 medium I've got to check watts 1.49 amps 106 watts low uh, 83 watts 1.16 amps. Back to high. So I've got to check the wattage on this. About 142, 144, 41. So yeah. Damn kids. Isn't it a school night or something? So yeah. I doubt I'm going to get one, so I'm trying to get a startup sound. Here's high. Startup sound on medium. It's probably not going to matter, but here's a startup sound on low. time was better. Yeah, it actually feels good right now. Alright guys, I guess that's going to do it for this video of the circa 85-ish Toastmaster Model 4425. First year badge for Toastmaster, even though Toastmaster pretty much took over the McGraw Edison Company after they were sold. Google it, trust me on this. And seeing how it still needs the huge feet from the Thinolites and it still has the Thinolite style, even though it's a little wider. 
and they probably kept this and they probably went with this design until their demise around 96. So yeah. To be honest, it honestly wasn't needed, but it was calling out for me. Kind of like one of those needs a good home. And it's there. Now whether or not it's going to be kept or whether I'm going to give it away, see me in a few years, okay? Because then we'll go from there. But I'm rambling on about that. So I guess until next time, whatever it is, I'm going to ask you thanks for watching. And the comment box is open. <laughs>